Joshua Kelly and Lara Brooke, both from Chantilly, Virginia, spent the night in jail Saturday because they asked a Baltimore City police officer for directions. In jail for eight hours, sleeping on a concrete floor next to a toilet. It was a nightmare. I mean, I was in there just thinking that I was dreaming and waiting to wake up. It was a nightmare ending to a nearly perfect day. The couple went to a company picnic. They watched the Orioles beat Kansas City. It was their first trip to Camden Yards. Leaving, they asked two people for directions to 95 South. And somehow, ended up in the Cherry Hill section of South Baltimore, hopelessly lost. Relief melted away concerns after they spotted a police vehicle. I said, thank goodness. I said, can you please get us to 95? The first thing that she said to us was, you know, you just ran that stop sign, pull over. So it wasn't a big deal. We said, we'll pay the stop sign violation, but can we have directions? What she said was, is you found your own way in here, you can find your own way out. The couple saw another police vehicle and flagged that officer down for directions. But Officer Natalie Preston, a six-year veteran of the force, intervened. That threw us through a loop when she stepped in between our cars and said, my partner is not going to step, my partner is not going to step in front of me and tell you directions if I'm not. But things got worse. Joshua pulled 40 feet forward, parking next to a curb, putting his flashers on. Meanwhile, Lara was on the phone to her father, hoping he could help her with directions. Both her parents are police officers in the Harrisburg, Pennsylvania area. And was in the middle of giving us directions when the officer screeched up behind us and got out of the car and asked me to step out. I obeyed. I obeyed everything, stepped out of the car, uh, put, my hand behind, put my hands behind my back, and uh, next thing you know, I was getting arrested. I mean, by this time, I'm completely in tears. I said, ma'am, you know, we just need your help. We, we're not trying to cause you any trouble. And I said, I can't, I'm not leaving him here, you know? She, so she, what she did is come over to my side of the car, open my door and say, all right, we'll take